Junkies, my name is Bob, and today we are going to be bringing you a review of the Avengers Endgame Deluxe Hulk. Now, this is not a Marvel Legend. It is, at size, slightly about six inches. He's a little bit bigger because he's the Hulk. He's also $12.99. Now, the most of the figures in this line are $9.99. However, we thought we would review a normal, basic, everyday figure. Now, we feel as if these figures are great for kids. Um, most kids don't care about articulation or how sculpted the figures are unless they're raised by junkies. And it's just for fun. And it's the Hulk and he's outside and he's having an adventure. And that's really what it's all about. But we thought, as, a, as adult collectors, let's get one of these, check them out. And of course, there is a bonus reason for doing it, which we'll get to at the end. So let's check out the Hulk. Now, we just cut through here really gently. We don't have to tear it. Or we could just tear it, so, since I teared it. So let's pull the Hulk here from his plastic coffin. I do like the face. I'm surprised by how much I actually like the face. Um, nothing really extra in here. The package is nice. It's a standard uh, on-the-peg package. Um, as far as collectability goes, you know, this is obviously going to get dinged up the older it gets. But we do have a nice Avengers logo. Very cool. And uh, Thanos, Iron Man, the Hulk. I believe these are all the extra you know, deluxe type figures, or there's, you know, other figures out there, but we get a little bit about the Hulk here. If you don't know at this point, you really have been living under a rock. Um, so let's move on here. So we do have the figure in his plastic coffin. Let's do a smell test here real quick. No, nothing really. Look at the figure out. It's solid. And then we do have what I like to call the Hulk's gauntlet or the, or Iron Man's infinity gauntlet. So we'll set that here to the side, plastic coffin gone. As articulation goes, we are almost at a standard, what I call a Kenner figure. So we're like this. He can do this, he can sit in a vehicle, and he can drive. That's the extent. So I call that a Kenner figure. Now, this one here, we do have extra mobility. So we do have his arms do come out. Very nice. And his elbows bend. So he can literally hulk it up. It's a nice little extra thing here but as far as like legs go he's not going to be running too much Let's see if we can get a nice little running pose there he is he's on a running pose that's not bad and he's a little bit off the one foot so there is a bit of posability that you can do here but nothing on the major scale as far as uh, paint sculpt goes not really loving this area right in here very straightforward and you know bland this is a ridge, not so much a paint. We do have a little bit of a ridge here for the knee pads, but you know, Hulk feet kind of has little things here to hold on to his pants. And as far as these arms go, this is, it's in there, but it's really faint. Like it is an extra layer, but it's not so much, uh, it's sculpted into the plastic. It, it's, it's more than just paint. So it's a nice application. Um, but as the face goes, let's zoom in here, I'm sorry. As the face goes, I think the face is pretty good. I mean, it looks like Mark Ruffalo, especially from that angle. So if you were to make a regular Mark Ruffalo uh, figure for some reason, you know, you want him from 13 going on 30, you could probably use this face. Not bad, as faces go, especially for a $12.99 figure. But even then, most Marvel Legends on discount go for about $12.99. So it gets into that whole kind of weird gray area of what the value of these toys really is and what they cost to make. So... Oh, he went down. So as we get, zoom in on him here again. So this is the point of, uh, of collectability for a lot of collectors right now, is that they want this figure for this glove. And this glove is the Iron Man gauntlet. Now, as you can see, it just shapes over his hand. It's not actually like you can't pull this part off. But we stick this on here. Oh, wow. It fell right off. So you stick this on here. And now you've got Hulk, Professor Hulk, with the gauntlet. Um, not bad. I mean, it's a cheap accessory um, for uh, Hasbro to produce, but it does get the point across. So we do like that. So all in all, the figure by itself, I think this would be fun for kids. They could go out. They could have a little bit of a, you know, an adventure and stuff. Would this disappear? Probably. Now, for collectors... This is where we get, this is where it gets interesting. So for collectors, 
And in case you hadn't seen it, we did build the Thanos from the Avengers, uh, I believe it's Wave 3 Endgame figures. So this is the Build-A-Figure right here. Now, as you'll notice, this Infinity Gauntlet is on his left hand. This Infinity Gauntlet is on the Hulk's right hand. So what we've been seeing is that a lot of collectors are picking up this figure, taking this off, and sticking that like so. So what we're, sadly, what we're encountering is now we have a Thanos with two Infinity Gauntlets. So this is the bright Thanos from the film. However, you can't, I can take the hand off, but I can't remove the gauntlet. So you're almost going to need to take this whole arm off and put a different, uh, take this arm off from one of the previous Thanos build of figures that we've had and then just have a regular arm. Now the purple here is very similar to the Thanos uh, that was released in the very first Avengers wave. That uh, We do have that build of Thanos. We call him the tank top Thanos. He, he is probably our safer bet to getting this to be more screen accurate. We could just do this. And then you get the idea. So this is a great accessory. We're able to add this to the character, but this arm piece here is where we hit the snag. So we do have a Thanos with two gauntlets, which, God, talk about a mad titan at that point. So we do have that. And we also see the size here, not quite screen accurate, but then again, this is a smaller figure. Gives you an idea of the scope. Thanos is about, I think, almost nine inches tall. Um, However, we do run into the snag of this hand and versus this hand. And then, unfortunately, if we do this, you can see that it's just a rubber carbon copy. So, a great idea by, by collectors, however, uh, and, and kish bat, kit bashers, however, you are going to need to change this hand out, or this whole arm out, actually, the whole arm out, and put on a different arm. Now, you could just put the arms from the other build of Thanos right here, and then you'd be good. So... Sadly, that Thanos of ours is in storage and we, haven't, we weren't able to bring him out, but this would be the screen accurate version of what you're seeing. So that's it, Junkies. We thought we would do this comparison for you. Um, we thought it was a great idea when we saw it. However, we went, wait a minute, one glove is on the left and one glove is on the right. So you do get a little bit of not screen accuracy, but you are going to have to buy the, uh, the Build-A-Figure Thanos from Wave 1 just to change the arms out and get a more screen accurate character. So thank you for tuning in junkies and look for all of our reviews on YouTube. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Sometimes we're on Twitch. You have an excellent day.